We are going to look at five different examples of quiet moves. Not always the check is the best move or the winning move. Up here we can see that black is upper queen, so they have definitely might have like a better position if their king would be quite better located somewhere like on f5 or on e6. But in this position, king is quite stuck on h7, and the checkmate is coming very instantly. So we are looking looking for the way to bring the rook all the way towards the king, and the move which will be the best one will be rook to c8. After that, rook to h8 will be unstoppable, and the checkmate is coming in the next move. Whatever will black do next? Let's say queen takes b5, white will continue with rook to h8, and that will be a checkmate because it's defended by the rook, and king has nowhere it can run away at the moment. The next example, you know, look, the king is again is quite stuck on the board, so that's a similar pattern for all the quiet moves. When the king is on the side and it's not defended and not supported by the pieces, it's very often we can make like a quiet move, which will lead to a checkmate very soon. So in this position up here, it's not really defended by any of the black pieces, and we can see that the rook on g3 is doing an amazing job. It's separating the king on h8 from the rest of the pieces on the king side and the queen side right now. That's the step number one. When you're trying to check me, make sure that your king is, is separate, so your king, opponent's king is separated from the rest of the board. Now it's on h8. Now, when it's done, we could use our helper, which is the queen on d1, and we can bring it all the way to attack the king on g8. We could look for something like queen g4, but after queen to g4, it will be just captured by uh, fx g4. So it's not the best solution. The best move here would be to realize that the weak square is g7, as well as all the squares around the board here. So f6 is the square we are looking at. Also, if you look for queen h5, there is no real like entering square to check. So f6 is our goal. We're going to go for queen to d4. Now, queen to d4 is definitely a very strong threat. So, and it's really impossible for black to find a defensive move here. So again, if the rook would be already on g8, it could be lifted to g6 and at least temporarily protect f6 but at the moment none of the black pieces can be helping right now and like none of the pieces can be uh, supporting the king and if there any move for black like let's say rook g8 queen takes f6 and the checkmate in one is coming very soon there is only way one way to stop rook g7 queen g7 made here the next example is actually my favorite one. Black's position looks amazing. It looks like black is winning, black is upper rook, uh, like, upper, like almost upper rook, like a couple of pawns and so on. And if just black king would be on a safe spot, let's say somewhere on g6 or like g7 or like even e5 or f4, it would be definitely quite soon win for black. But King on c8 is quite stuck, and even further, like it has no main squares to escape to. It can only escape to b8, which is also not considered to be very safe. This pawn on c6, which is again a wedge pawn, is helping quite a lot by controlling. This pawn on c6 is helping quite a lot by controlling b7 and d7 right now. So the king can't really run away to d7 or g7. So it only has one square again to b8. So all we need to do is to make sure that the king gets to b8 and when it gets to b8 we have our helper, the rook to g1, the checkmate on b1. Now who, do, who could help white to check the king? There's definitely two pieces, which is a knight. Knight can get to b6, but if knight gets to b6 it will be easily captured by a takes b6 or pawn takes b6. So it's not very much helpful here. We also have the bishop. Bishop on g2 might seem like it's hiding, but it actually can be extremely helpful now. So the bishop gets to e4, his idea to get to f5, will, the checkmate will be unstoppable. So bishop to e4, black would continue, let's say, with pawn to e2, trying to attack the rook or to counterattack, but after bishop f5 checks the king, again king can't escape to d8 because the rook, and after king b8, that will be a checkmate, rook to p1, there is no way to run away right now. And another way 
like could try to resist is by moving their rook to d8 and hoping that white will trade the rooks here and that would definitely help black to um, recover their king as well as get their rook into the game and probably black is of course going to win in this position but white found an incredible move which was bishop to f5 which to follow up our white move bishop e4 and now there is i mean again if king to b8 will be checkmate after rook to d because king can't escape to b7 because of the pawn uh, black could still try to block this check by moving rook to g7 but after rook takes g7 let's say pawn to e2 again we have a couple of moves which are winning it's actually rook to d4 rook to g5 rook to d3 and so on but let's say we start just like rook d4 again it's a discovered check king is in danger king can only escape to b8 can do d8 or d7 because of the rook after king b8 here comes the checkmate rook to d8 Another nice example of we quiet off. Now it seems like again white is up a couple of pawns, but is white king is really safe on a four? Doesn't seem like because after we found out that the king is stuck and it can get to e3 because of the bishop and all the squares are actually taken by the black pieces, we only need to find a way to check the king. It's not going to be bishop c7 because then king can run away to e3. It's not going to be bishop d4 and e5 because again king will be able to escape to e3 but after we realize that we just need to find a way to check on g4 because king is absolutely trapped we just need to find a way to get the rook there so the rook would move to g8 and after rook to g8 the checkmate is coming it's unstoppable whatever white will do next whether it's knight b4 or knight c3 or pawn to g4 rook will take on g4 and will deliver a checkmate now the next example here is again like as nice as example like here uh rook and a knight is always very tricky together so in this position here we can see that the knight and the rook can be extremely powerful in this position we could start with a check by moving rook to a1 but after king to f7 king is definitely going to run away towards the center so now we are looking for the way to keep that king on g1 so actually the best move would be keep this here by moving rook to f7 rook to f7 it it's hoping to get all the way to f1 and delivering a checkmate so rook to f7 is looking all the way here actually this checkmate again is unstoppable the only thing white could try to do right now is to move rook to f4 because they can't escape either to g2 or g or f1 because of the knight and f2 is fully controlled by the rook as well so after rook to f4 rook takes f4 there is no way to stop rook f1 and checkmate is unavoidable and the last example up here is another position here so the king is all the way in the center and it's actually quite easy to uh to trap the king when it's in the center or on the side of the board if there are no defenders around then we can see that the king on g3 is not surrounded by any pieces there are no defenders next to the king so we just need to make sure that it stays where it is and it won't escape to e4 or to c4 and now even through white is our piece in this position like a couple of pawns black pawns incredible move which is bishop to d5 which now helps us to control both of the squares actually whatever black will do will be a checkmate so whatever white will do in the next move checkmate is unavoidable it's either rook to b3 or rook to f3 which will deliver a check here on g2 so that's another nice example how black could checkmate even uh, being down a piece so we shouldn't give up we should try to play and we should try to resist and stay in the game always uh, whatever white will do let's say it's a takes b7 but a takes b7 after rook to b3 would be a checkmate because the king is totally stuck it can't move anywhere now it's stuck the same thing for um let's say to a3 maybe it could stop rook from moving to b3 Cook. but there is another move which is rook to f3 which checks the king the king can't run away to e7 e2 c2 or d2 because of the other rook there's no way it can escape up here so here's a checkmate example